to find the complement and the supplement of an angle. All right. Now, remember, when we're talking about angles, the complement is going to be two angles that add up to give you 90 degrees. But remember, if we talked about halfway around a circle is in pi radians, then we could say a complement is also equal to pi halves. Because we're not going to be talking about degrees here, unless you wanted to convert to degrees. But then you're doing a whole bunch of extra math. We have, pi, we have 5 pi um, over 8, which is the same thing. And the two angles that are going to add up is going to be your complement. So if we have a complement, what it pretty much stands for is x plus y equals pi halves. What two angles add up to give you pi halves, where x and y represent angles? All right. Now, do we know what one of the angles is that we have? Yeah, they say find the complement of 5 pi over 8. That means find the other angle, Will, that's going to add up to 5 pi over 8. That will give you pi halves. So what we'll do is just write that in there, 5 pi over 8. Then what the supplement says is find two angles that add up to give you 180 degrees. And remember, the radian measure of 180 degrees is pi. So we want to find two angles that add up to 180 degrees. But remember, since we're talking about radians today, or for this problem, it's going to be um, equal to pi. So when I say find the supplement of this angle, I'm saying what angle added to 5 pi over 8 gives you pi. And again, we already know what the one angle is, which is 5 pi over 8. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we just have an algebra problem. All we got to do is now solve for x. So you subtract 5 pi over 8. Subtract 5 pi over 8. So their x equals pi halves minus 5 pi over 8. Now the problem comes in, though, is because we don't have the same denominators, right? So therefore, you got to multiply by 4 over 4 to get like denominators. So my final answer, so I have x equals 4 pi over 8 minus 5 pi over 8, which equals a negative pi over 8. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we're trying to find the complement, we're trying to find two positive angles that add up to pi halves. So if I have a negative ang angle, what that means is 5 pi over 8 is already over 90 degrees. Right? <clears throat> if you were to take, <clears throat> because 4 pi over 8 would be pi halves. So 5 pi over 8 is over 90 degrees. So therefore, this, this angle does not have a complement. Okay? So you'd write, so if you try to find the complement and you get a negative angle, it does not have a complement because it's already pi halves. It's already over 90 degrees. So let's go and do the supplement. So I subtract 5 pi over 8. <clears throat> so therefore, I have x equals pi minus 5 pi over 8. Again, we need to get the common denominator. So I'll put this over 1 <coughs> and, then <clears throat> and then multiply. My voice is like dying. <clears throat> multiply by 8. So now I have x equals 8 pi over 8 <coughs> minus 5 pi over 8. So x equals 3 pi over 8. Cool? So the complement does not exist. But we have a supplement of 3 pi over 8. I will tell you guys right now, we are going to be doing a lot of getting the common denominator, adding and subtracting your fractions. This will become very, very important. I probably should have given you guys a, uh, a worksheet extra on doing these for Will.